We've got a special guest today behind the smoke, Baron Claiborne, who took the iconic photo of Biggie Smalls in March of 97, oddly, three days before my birthday and three days before the untimely demise of one of the greatest to ever bless the mic. Can you tell us the backstory about that photo and how it came about and obviously how now the crown and the photo of him are so iconic? Sure, the, the idea came about, I had already taken his photo previously where he's in space in the white suit and the cane and the hat. I took that first and that was based on Kingpin from Spider-Man. Cause usually at the time I was doing a lot of archetypes, you know, of different, of people, saints. I was doing different saints and stuff. And I did a lot of fashion at the time for the New York Times Magazine and other magazines. So I was in sort of that vein, like the icon. And so when I used to shoot Biggie, I used to always tell him he looked like a big black king, like an icon. Like he, I used to tell him he was an archetype. Like, so I was interested the first time they asked me to shoot him. I was like, look, I really don't want to shoot him if he's going to just wear a sweatsuit and look like everybody else. So I told them, can you make a three-piece suit, get a cane and a hat? You know, a, a lot of people fought the idea, but then finally they got a Groovy Lou, got the suit, cane and the hat. And then I explained to Biggie what I was doing. And then I took the picture and he really loved the picture. So then the second time, when he, a couple of years later, they asked me again, would I shoot him? Because at the time I was doing, I also do cinematography. So I shot a lot of the mm -hmm. music videos, even some of the ones that he's in. Mm -hmm. So I was, but I was, my aesthetic was a little different. So I wanted to do him. I told him at the time I was doing a lot of saints and kings because my grandfather used to always say, the only thing you don't see black people as mm -hmm. is saints Facts. and kings. So that always stuck with me as I grew up. So that was kind of the thing I was trying to do, like just different kind of iconic images, archetypes, stuff like that. So I told them, basically, I got the idea a couple of days before and uh, I was out at uh, in Union Square and I was walking by a novelty place and I was like, oh, let me go get the crown here. It was a place called Gordon's Novelties. So I went inside, I was like looking for a bunch of different crowns, but the simplest one I wanted the simplest one, so I bought that one that you see in the image. Mm -hmm. And the thing, and it's all about archetype and making him, you know, I, I'm, I don't, it made me sad when he was killed, mm -hmm. but I'm glad that he's remembered the way he's That's remembered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a regal way other than what you see a lot of times. And because it's how I actually saw him. And so I, I got him to do it. You know, what's what Puffy screaming, you niggas gonna look like Burger King, you know? I, he did it anyway. And so then, you know, I was, I was in Paris, like, when he died. And so people started sending me, they had copied the photos and mm, pasted them up all right. over, you know. And then, and then that's when I found out he, he had been killed or whatever. Mm. But I'm glad the image, the, it's, you know, it's people who have made the image what it is today. And, I, and I'm really glad because what I wanted to do actually ended up happening. It's unfortunate he had to die for it. Right. But I'm glad that he's remembered in that way, because that's kind of how I remember him. And he had a sense of humor. And you know, back then rappers, you, mm -hmm. they, there was no smiles, there was no, mm -hmm. but I remember him smiling a lot, because I used to tease him while I was shooting him. Mm -hmm. And then later on, that's why I released the one where he's smiling, the king where he's smiling, so people would also remember he that he also it. had a sense of humor. He mm -hmm. wasn't just some dark figure without any intelligence, you know? Did you listen to his music before the photo? Yeah, yeah, of course, I did the videos and stuff. I always, I still, you know, I'm not a big hip hop head or anything. I listen to all kinds of music, everything. Mm -hmm. But I do believe he's one of the best lyricists ever to this day, you know, and I'm not even like an expert on it when I just listen to him. And also, he still played everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like you hear his music all around still to this day. And on, the, on his birthday that Saturday, on the 50th, it was everywhere right. in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. They had a party on the street, it was huge. I went by just to go see, you know? And it's beautiful that people remember him like that. If I was to die, I'd like to be remembered that King, way, right. you know? The painting just recently sold for 594. The crown. The crown, excuse me. The crown, yeah, the crown just recently did. sold. Yeah, Sotheby's, yeah. 594,000, huh? Yeah, uh huh. It's gotta be special. How much you pay for it? Six bucks. Look at that. <laughs> that crazy? The crown. Yeah, no, I know. War. It is crazy, it's crazy. It, it, it is funny because it's, uh, it's the same symbology. Like the crown is, has been separated. Right. But the thing that influenced me a lot was the, you know, the crown that Basquiat drew. Mm. It was never put on anybody's head, but he always drew it as a symbol. Mm -hmm. And that always interested me because I, I moved to New York like in 1988, so it was big then. So you'd see the crown around a lot on mm -hmm. his paintings and his books. And I always remembered that, that, that sort of regalness that 
people have removed somewhat, you know, mm -hmm. from men. And plus, I'm a black dude, so I care about our image. Right. So I like, if you see my photos, they're always made in a way where it's hard for you to tell when, when they were made, when they were taken. It's like I'm trying to get sort of a timeless quality in them. And I should do a lot of athletes, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Portrait photography is your thing. It's, I've been taking pictures since I was 10. I've done everything. I've done sports. I've done reportage. I've done fashion. I just kind of like the challenge of whatever I'm doing. And then now I basically do my own stuff. I make products. I do other stuff with the... Because I have a huge archive. So I use it to make products, to do things, to license, to do all kinds of... Sort of what... I just want to make my own, my own thing. So that when mm -hmm. you see my work, you know it's mine without my name being on it or anything. You know, mm -hmm. that's the point where I wanted to get. You've appeared in, in, in several um, different uh, spaces, New York Times, New York, uh, the New Yorker, Rolling Stone, yeah. Esquire, countless museums. Would you say your biggest piece is that Biggie piece or is there something else to no, you that comes to mind? I have other work that people know. A lot of people don't realize because my, my other work was so different than that. That's one of the reasons I shot Biggie in color, because at the time I was doing a, like a eight white. by 10 Polaroids mm -hmm. that are sepia, you know, to match our skin mm -hmm. tones. That's why I use that process, because it looks like our skin tones when you see it, and it's normal cover, color. Mm -hmm. So I fell in love with that. The reason I did him in color is because I wanted to separate him from those other ones, you mm -hmm. know? But, I mean, you can go to my, my Instagram at Baron Claiborne, you know, it's just my name. And you can see, like, samples of my work. And stuff. I did, like, the He Got Game movie poster. A lot of things that people have seen, mm -hmm. they just don't realize gotcha. they were mine. That's cool, all, cool. you know? Right. Well, man, we want to thank you for your time. And obviously, the portrait lives beautifully in our studio back in L.A., man. So we, appreci <laughs> we appreciate you. There's one each. Uh, there's two each. So you can keep one and give one to... Uh, what we got in here? Oh, the photo. Hell yeah. Yeah, so you can... Appreciate you. And they're signed.